In today's video, we're going to discuss my biggest fear with YieldMax investing, especially around election years. YieldMax helps me earn over 400000 per year in dividends, as you can see below. And our performance value shows that we're beating all of the indexes with our approach using YieldMax and some margin. We're up 32% for the year. The SP is up 20%, the Nasdaq's up 21, the Dow's up 11, and the Russell's up 9. So we're beating all of the indexes on a year to date basis. And on a daily basis, we're down $700 today or 0.05%, which, as you can see above, beats the indexes. So we're living financially free out of our brokerage accounts using yield max and margin. If you need help doing the same, email me for my e-guides at akintod48 at gmail.com. I don't just use yield max, of course. We use Cornerstone, Defiance, Roundhill, and a bunch of other blue chip stocks. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to discuss my biggest fear with yield max investing, okay? I do keep yield max small, as you know, so it's not really a big fear of mine. But it's not just with yield max, okay? It's with Roundhill and Defiance. We have similar fears here because... What I'm going to discuss applies to all dividend investment funds, even Cornerstone. As you may know, if you're a follower of my channel, for every $1 you put in your account, you get $4 of purchasing power. I'm just using a fraction of this over $1 million in purchasing power to get ahead. This $600,000 in margin debt that you see below is low interest debt. I've negotiated it down twice. Many of my clients who bought my e-guides did the same thing because when you buy my e-guides, you get my phone number for life, so keep that in mind. Also, this margin debt does not show up on a credit check to banks and I use my e-trade checking card I can swipe my e-trade checking card and go wherever I want in this world buy whatever I want cars clothes shoes and at much lower interest rates than credit cards oftentimes so I love using this margin debt and even though I'm in this debt I can withdraw out of it once again I pay all of my bills out of my e-trade account all of my bills are automated out of my e-trade account and whatever I spend on my e-trade checking card each month my dividends pay back at the end of the month by the way all the dividends that I earn off of this margin debt help me not only lower my break even faster and lower my risk up until a certain point you just don't want to use too much margin and then it becomes risky but all these dividends earn me qualifying income Income to banks for loans. That's how I really get ahead. That's how I level up my account. It's with loans and cornerstone rights offerings, which we'll discuss at the end of the video. But I use loans to level up my account and I use these dividends on margin to qualify for other kinds of loans like home loans, car loans, so that I can truly live free from nine to five because banks won't accept stock gains. They only accept nine to five pay stubs or dividend gains. Here's the thing. As my over 1,000 members in the Discord community already know, Yield Max has high maintenance. All right, so if you go to YMAG, you'll see here, YMAG, this is the Magnificent 7 fund for Yield Max. It has 50% maintenance. Okay, and Defiance also has high maintenance, like with IWMY, that's 50%. And Roundhill has high maintenance. Let's go with XDTE. Okay, that has 50% maintenance, as you can see below. If you need help understanding maintenance, that's in my Volume 3 e-guide. Maintenance is the key to living financially free out of your brokerage account so we can withstand over 20% corrections at all times because we keep our available withdrawal high and that's because we buy low maintenance names, okay? We buy some Cornerstone, which is low maintenance. We buy some Defiance funds like QQQI, which are low maintenance at E-Trade and this keeps my available withdrawal high. But what if we were to get a maintenance change during a bear market or even during an election year like we're seeing this year. What if E-Trade decides to raise the maintenance like they did in times past with yield max funds and lower our available withdrawal in the process? So if they raise our maintenance, once again, it's going to lower our available withdrawal. So you have to be aware of maintenance changes even without using margin, okay? Because even if you don't use this 600000 in margin debt like I'm using, again, if you have a maintenance change with the yield max or defiance type of fund, then your available withdrawal is going to drop and then you're not going to be able to live freely out of your brokerage account. But when you're using margin, you really need a factor in maintenance and margin is not risky to me because my dividends pay back my margin and my leverage goes away in fact margin helps me lower my risk because i'm getting dividends with defiance and then when i use this margin for more dividends from defiance for example that lowers my break even faster because i'm earning twice the amount of dividends which then pays back my debt so fast this leverage doesn't even matter so in the coming years i'm going to have it to where my account will be at a million or two and my margin debt will be at around 400 or 500 thousand such a small amount to where i'm never in risk of a margin call, but I'm getting 50% dividends from this extra margin leverage that I'm using, this 500000 approximately in margin leverage that I'll be using every year going forward. And that's really going to help with my growth and help keep my available withdrawal high. Again, as your account grows, the margin leverage that you use becomes less and less of a risk, but it helps get your growth going, okay? It helps you get ahead with yield max and defiance funds. And actually, again, these dividends are just going to start snowballing for us in the future without any risk of a margin call. 
Okay, so in order to get to that point where we're earning so much in dividends that no margin calls matter and we're getting insane qualifying income so we can buy whatever we want in this world, we can qualify for just about anything with our income in the future as that income grows. So I want to get there safely and in order to do that, we have to play by the rules when using yield max, cornerstone, defiance, and some margin. And that's why I stay with names that have a track record of low maintenance over the years like cornerstone, okay? CRF is 30% maintenance. Again, if you need help understanding maintenance, that's in my volume three e-guide. So Cornerstone, if you don't know, is a five-star fund, as you can see here on Morningstar, and it moves upper left to right on a 10-year chart. But if you go to a chart on E-Trade, you'll see that it moves sideways to down over the last 10 years. That's because you have to factor back in dividends, drips, and rights offerings. With yield max and defiance, you have to factor back in dividends and drips to get your true charge for those. But with Cornerstone, you have to factor back in dividends, drips, and rights offerings because many closed-in funds have rights offerings. Rights offerings should be welcomed. They shouldn't be something to be scared of. And a lot of people are waiting to buy Cornerstone right now because they're scared of the rights offering coming, but you're missing out on 26% premium drips right now. So you get the 21% dividend in Cornerstone. You get 20% premiums on average. Right now we're above 20%, we're at 26%. And they drip that down at the NAV for free money every month, 26% gains every month. So if you don't buy a Cornerstone, right now just because you're afraid of a rights offering again you're missing out on these special drip gains that no other index fund in the world offers so you're missing out on this aspect plus when they do the rights offering they give you time to react and as you already know we get the rights offering announcement here in discord so we get the n2 filing which comes a few days before the rights offering announcement that gives us even more time to react so there's nothing to really fear when it comes to the rights offerings with cornerstone we're going to pocket all those premiums we're going to pocket those special drips and then we're going to reload our shares after the rights offering is over. And that's how, again, I leveled up my account and got it up so fast after Corona. I started with $15,000 after Corona and look at my account now. Most of that is thanks to Cornerstone. I mean, we're up 50% in our recent lots, as you saw in my past videos. I've sold everything in Cornerstone and bought it back two or three times over due to these rights offerings. Okay. I've been through three rights offerings with Cornerstone. One more thing to keep in mind for these elections is we can withstand over 20% corrections in the market. Yes, but we also keep our put options on just in case we have some sort of black swan event. So I'm never worried about a margin call because I can withstand over 20% corrections. But should we have something like a 30% correction overnight, we'd make more money in our put options that we lost in our account. If you need help insuring your portfolio with put options like I do, that's in my volume five e-guide. All right, so we're outperforming all of the indexes with yield max, margin, cornerstone, defiance, and round hill funds. If you need help doing the same, email me for my e-guides at akintod48 at gmail.com. When you buy my e-guides, you get free access to Discord for life, where we alert you of that cornerstone rights offering. And you get my phone number for life, so you can call me anytime you have questions. I'm always here for you. All right, if you like the video, please click like or subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon, everyone. Thanks.